Okay, this is a little diagram I draw out here. Um, my Xbox got the three red rings of death here recently. Uh, I got it ready to ship off as soon as they send me the box. Here's why I think this is so common. Up here we've got the uh, a crude drawing of the 360 and how the GPU unit is positioned under the DVD drive. As you can see, here's the GPU. Got it colored in red to kind of show the heat. It's got a thin heat sink right above it, sandwiched right under this DVD drive. Then you've got a uh, air duct right here that is real narrow right here. Then it goes out, and here's your fan pulling the heat out. In a computer or anything else, this works pretty good. But on a chip that gets this hot, it a fan all the way over here drawing all this heat out right here just don't work. It's not very good. Now the fixed Xbox 360s has a uh, heat sink that has a heat transfer copper pipe coming out going to another heat sink suspended up in here. Which I hope that's what they do to my unit. Because that's a thousand times better, although it still is not as good as having a fan right above this right here. That's what, and the PS3, here's why it's so much better a design. The GPU on the PS3, as well as the processor and everything else, is right under this one heat sink type deal, which has the, this one big giant 160 millimeter fan right here position right above all the main chips. That allows all this heat, which is shown in red here, to go out in all directions around this. So therefore, the PS3 is a good design. Xbox 360, a rush design, from what I can see. Not very well thought out. I'm no genius on this stuff, but I know if you put a DVD, that, and also, I think that is causing the disc read errors and shit too. Because this DVD drive gets so hot that it actually warp, causes the disc to warp while playing a game. That throws everything off out of whack. So that's just stupid. Stupid design, Microsoft. I hope you do better and learn from your mistakes on the next system.